everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG Television News Brief on this Wednesday. As storms begin to develop during the 2023 hurricane season and head into the Caribbean region, United Kingdom officials are checking in with their overseas territories to discuss more about the UK's assistance, if and when it's needed. In this story, we hear from the UK's Minister of State for the Armed Forces, who was here recently. The UK's Minister of State for the Armed Forces, the Right Honourable James Heapy, visited Grand Cayman for 24 hours this week. He met with government officials, Governor Owen, the Cayman Islands Police Service, the Regiment and the Coast Guard. Discussions surrounded the United Kingdom's annual plan to provide the overseas territories support during the 2023 hurricane season using the HMS Dauntless. Look, we know how challenging this season is for uh, communities across the Caribbean. We know that, you know, no one ever knows at the start of the season whether this is the one where the big hurricane comes. And therefore we understand the anxiety that governments across the Caribbean have to know that there's a UK Royal Navy asset in the region to support you should the worst happen. So this year the destroyer HMS Dauntless uh, will be in the Caribbean. She's an incredibly capable ship. Uh, on which embarked is uh, a helicopter and a number of launches, a fantastic crew. And then, you know, she's the, the foundation of a contribution because if it was to be a really big storm, then, you know, this is a sort of, there's a scalable thing for, of, of assets back in the UK that can be flown forward very quickly because we understand how important the role that the UK plays is in giving you the resilience should the worst happen. The regiment is one of several agencies at the heart of disaster recovery here in the Cayman Islands. The Right Honourable Heapy shared his thoughts on how the regiment is doing and whether he thinks they can deliver when disaster strikes. You know, given that the regiment is still so young, it's an incredible achievement by uh, the Cayman Islanders to generate a regiment with that much competence so quickly. The UK MOD is so proud to be supporting that regiment and will continue to do so, but we shouldn't be taking the credit. What's incredible is that your government and your people have raised that regiment so quickly and so soon into its life, it already has such an incredible range of capabilities. The United Kingdom government part funded the RCIPS's helicopter. Minister Heapy did say the asset is great for protecting Cayman and responding to threats both locally and regionally when needed. Well, 72 boys and girls have left the classrooms of the Joanna Clark Primary School in Savannah as they get ready to move on to high school after their summer holidays. Attending the school's graduation on behalf of Education Minister this week was Parliamentary Secretary Ms. Heather Bodden. Our theme for this special occasion is Inspiring Minds, A Bright Future. And indeed, each and every one of you possess an inspired mind. Bursting with creativity, curiosity, and the power to shape the world around you. During the graduation, teachers, parents, family, and friends were entertained with singing by the school's choir, the principal's reflection, and a look at the students' memories reel. Former student Jonathan Jackson was the guest speaker, and students were presented with their certificates and awards by various members of the Department of Education Services team. We say congratulations to those students. Well, Tuesday, the 21st of June, is the longest day with the most light. It's called the summer solstice. And this year, the Alzheimer's and Dementia Association, or ADASI, asked the Cayman Islands Fire Service to once again assist with the Fill the Boot collection of funds. The Every Cent Counts campaign is held, a, uh, held as a national call to action day for Audacity, along with raising awareness and funds. Fill the Boot for Alzheimer's is a community-driven initiative aimed at spreading awareness about Alzheimer's disease and other related dementias, while raising funds to support individuals and families affected by these conditions locally. Volunteers from Audacity worked with the fire service to collect donations from the generous community members. In addition to collecting funds, the volunteers distributed informational flyers about the organization. Let's have a look now at our forecast for tonight. We can expect probably cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers. These will be moderate with wave heights of 3 to 5 feet for you boaters. The two-day outlook through to Friday is for similar weather conditions. Now to learn more about what is happening weather-wise locally, check out the Cayman Islands Weather Service's website 
as well as their Facebook page. And that brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CID Television. I'm Donna Bush. As always, have a great night and be safe.